no matter what my preference is, someone's gonna get angry for sure. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is No Enough Tech. Son of versus Shelly. Something tells me a group of supporters of one brand might be more happy or more disappointed than the other. So with that said, uh, let's take a look at both devices because they do exactly the same thing in a slightly different manner. And I would like to share my thoughts uh, about which device I think it's better. When we look at the specification between Shelly One and um, Son of Mini, on paper, Shelly One actually wins because the current rating uh, rates at 16 amps versus 10 amps with uh, Son of Mini. Now, if you're going to automate the lamps and lights and ceiling fittings, it's very unlikely you're going to reach that uh, current level. So you might as well go with either of the devices because they're both going to perform just great. Now, when it comes to automating the sockets, obviously you've got an edge with a Shelly one. And uh, if you just want to power your 2000 watt uh, Hoover, that would be fine, even with Son of Mini, because 10 amps gives you in Europe um, up to 2200 watts of uh, power that you can um, pass through this relay. The second factor you probably want to consider is the price. Now, it's a draw with one condition. Now, while both devices, Shelly and Son of and they retail for $9.99. You can find Son of Mini for as little as $5. So if you shop around and you have a couple of lights to fit in, you might actually save yourself a quite a bit of money if you strike a decent promotion. And unfortunately, at the time of this video, I was not able to find any meaningful promotions for Shelly One. So you can find a Son of Mini much cheaper, sometimes up to 50% cheaper uh, than Shelly one, but as a standard price, they both come at $9.99. Let's take a look at the physical size. Now, at glance, you would give the victory to Shelly one because it's a little bit smaller than actual uh, Son of Mini. However, as soon as you're gonna start the installation, you realize that there are additional cables and additional clips that you actually have to use with Shelly one to make it work in a safe manner. Now, that's not the case with the Son of Mini because uh, it has six terminals and you can straightforward connect everything, which means you're actually gonna take less space using uh, Son of Mini than with Shelly One. So, unless your wall switch uh, fittings or ceiling lights fittings are massive and allow to store an extra body, you probably want to go for Son of Mini. So, that's a clear victor in my eyes here. Next up is connectivity and for me it's a draw because both devices come with a pretty much similar functions. So you have your mobile app, you have your smart speaking integration, you have IFTTT. So pretty much whatever, whichever device you're gonna uh, go with, there is no wrong in that aspect as they will work with majority of the services without any problems. So what if you are not filthy casual and you want to get beyond your standard functionality on these devices. So Shelly Cloud versus uh, DIY mode. Shelly One is a clear winner in this one because first of all, you can just simply use uh, HTTP requests without disabling standard functionality. In addition to that on Shelly One, you can also send HTTP request out when the switch is toggled. So that's all without even a flashing a device. With Son of DIY mode, unfortunately, there is a whole magic you have to do and go through first in order to set up the DIY mode. And then DIY mode will disable all the integration with the EVLink app and the smart speaker integration as well. So what's the point of doing that to, to begin with? Let's talk about MQTT. Both devices are capable of MQTT. However, I have to declare Shelly One a clear winner in that aspect because you actually have to flash third-party software like Tasmota or IFE firmware in order to use MQTT. Now, bear in mind that MQTT on both devices will disable the access to um, smart apps, so your Shelly Cloud or smart speakers, uh, but uh, the MQTT is present on the default firmware and as such, Shelly One is the winner because you do have to flash the Son of uh, Mini uh, in order to use it. 
Now both devices are ESP8266 and as such capable of TASMOTA firmware as, as you can see the TASMOTA is available on both devices in a list of supported devices. Now on Shelly even though they are exposed uh, pins uh, you still have to use the programmer to flash the firmware while this is no longer the case with the Son of Mini where you can do uh, the flashing via OTA so even though they both options require a little bit different ways of flashing the firmware I declare it a draw. There is a couple of small points I would like to talk before I gonna um, head to conclusion section. Now extra points for Son of Mini for having external antenna uh, it's brilliant because uh, if the device like this is hidden behind the uh, electric wires it can cause some interference and having that extra antenna it will increase the range which means you can put it much further from the router. Another small point for Son of Mini is and the switch voltage. It doesn't use the main voltage so you will be able to use the standard wall switches and some low voltage switches as well because it only uses 3 volt, 3.3 volt um, voltage to go through the switch loop unlike Shelly which uses the full uh, mains power voltage. Now the disadvantage of this is that on the very very long loops for switches so if you have your light and a switch quite far away from each other it can cause uh, an interference which won't be present when you are using Shelly One devices. One extra small point for Shelly One is for having options in terms of controlling that switch. So you can switch it to edge behavior, you can control it independently from the online controls etc and those are missing on Son of Mini. Extra small point for Son of Mini for having inching options which aren't present on Shelly One. Another plus for Son of Mini for actually having the case uh, to be accessible so you can open it up and have a look inside while uh, Shelly One is glued together which means even switching that um, jumper to change the operational voltage is difficult. So which device I would recommend? And actually this is quite hard because if you're in a group of people that enjoy home automation as it's being done by big corporations so you don't want to tinker with anything or you just want to flag it and use it with your smartphone or your smart speakers then I would strongly recommend you to use Sonoff Mini providing 10 amps it's enough for you mostly because installation is so much easier and you're not going to miss out on any functionality at all so in that camp Son of Mini is a great device for you it's also cheaper as well but if you like to get your hands dirty and you want to squeeze out all the functionality from a device like this Shelly One might actually be option for you mostly because it's brilliant software comes with HTTP requests that do not disable the smart home interaction and this is very very important because if you want to interact with Son of Mini in DIY mode you have to take care of the smart integrations yourself so you have to connect uh, uh, Amazon Echo or Google Home devices through Node-RED or Home Assistant via third party which isn't the case with Shelly One. So the question reminds, as long as you can fit in the device inside of the wall like Shelly, well, go for Shelly. In the video descriptions, you're gonna find links for both of the products, so you can make a purchase if I've made your mind up. Now, do let me know in the comments which device do you prefer, and if I've missed any additional advantages of one ecosystem or the other, do let me know. As for now guys, I don't have a posting schedule, so if you're interested in any videos and updates, it's best to follow me on social media and you have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and obviously YouTube. So click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.